Hi folks, welcome back to The Horde. So this is a real quick request, requested video. Um, you guys remember the Speed Defies Gravity bike? I bought this at a car show a number of years ago. And um, that's all the particulars on it. So it was made in 04, 9 of 04. So it could be um, a 2004 or 2005. Anyway, the engine I had on it suffered from um, the Kickstarter. Wouldn't kick. It would jam, uh, which is kind of a problem. And the uh, first and second gear worked. Third gear would skip. Fourth gear would really skip. So you'd ease the clutch out, and it would uh, make a grinding sound. Anyway, the video was specifically, how do I put a key switch on this? And I'll show you that in one second. Well, actually, I'm going to show it to you two different ways. The first way is going to be schematically. This is the wire harness that you would see on a Honda 200S. When you ground the black and white wire harness, you turn off the bike. This is a pit bike ignition. When you ground the uh, black and white wire, you turn off the bike. Right? Notice the location of that and the ground wire and the stator wire and the wire that goes to the spark coil and the blue and yellow that goes off to the CDI. Notice the wire harness. It's exactly the same but the important thing to notice when you ground the black and white it shuts it off. Not black and red, you ground that, you're also going to shut it off, but you're shorting your stator out. And generally speaking, it's not a good idea to short your stator out. So, black and white to ground, turns it off. Also notice the round plug, 200S, right? And you take the black and white wire, it's the on and off switch. The 200ES, the black and white wire. Uh, that's the neutral switch, black and white, on and off switch. So, um, and this is just the whole situation. You could buy it. They cost about 20 bucks delivered. So, that's how you shut it off from a conceptual point of view. You take the black and white wire and you run it to ground. This bike has a key switch on it. Right, right there. And off the key switch comes a black and white wire. And this black and white wire, well, this one, right, goes up to the CDI unit. Uh, we all know what green wire does for a living. So I ran the, there's only two wires coming out of my key switch right here. See the key switch? Wait a minute, where's my finger? There's the key switch. See, I only have a black, white, and the second wire, which is a green. So I just hook all the greens together, all the black and whites together. And now I have switches, and I also hooked up this switch, the on and off switch on the handlebars. So assuming that I turn my key switch to on, and that is on and I give it a little kick and I'm up against the compression stroke of course come on with the camera I'm at an awkward angle give me a second Or maybe I turned it off. Let's turn it on. And if I turn it off, give it another. But 
let's say I turn it off and I want to steal this bike right and you got this key switch on it and you take the keys out matter of fact here keys are out right put them right in my pocket so I took the keys out of the bike and all is good right nobody could steal my bike it's this hard guys all you do is float the black and white wires right even though I got no key switch I got no key you float the black and white wires and lo and behold come on so how hard are these things to steal not very Again, you hook the black white wires up again and you could shut it right down but you got to uh... so I think that's one of the reasons why they really do their best to try to keep everything in these plastic harnesses right um, because if you don't do that it makes it so easy to steal right Though, quite honestly, you could cut both wires going to your key switch, and then you could steal it that way. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Not helpful to you guys who want to steal bikes, because if it's not yours, leave it the heck alone. Um, but I hope it's helpful to any of you folks who want to wire things. If the question comes up, what happens if my key switch has a whole load of wires on the back of it? Well, what you do then is you figure out which wires when it's turned off, right? That switches to the off position. And you figure out which wires, which I did here. And keep making a mess of myself, right? So I, I know that I rigged it up such that the black and green wire and the green wire, uh, green is ground, and the black and green, I set that up to be the off position, right? And you could just kind of poke around with a meter. So you can see it's in the off position and it's more or less a short. And when I turn it to the on position, it becomes an open circuit. All you have to do to get these bikes to run assuming everything else is functioning is float the um, the black and white wire to shut it down short the black and white wire to the frame um, what else do I need to tell you about these guys uh, this this bike even though nowadays I'm tilting the scales at about 175 um, and it's it's fairly small right but it's a real hoot to ride it's really a lot of fun I mean I wish it was you know maybe a foot longer entirely the back and one might be able to buy a longer swing arm for it um, one might might be able to do that uh, and just just kind of get it even six inches longer would, would help um, because it is, I'm about five, eight, give or take a foot and a half. Um, and, and for any of you six footers out there, or like my man, my man Calvin is about six foot tall. Um, and he's a, he's a big man. He, uh, he would sit down on this and by the time he got his legs to a comfortable position, he would be too far back here, right? He'd be, uh, in Wheelie City. Um, uh, he, he would have to lean, lean over the front, and then it just wouldn't be any fun to, to ride. It would, I mean, it would carry him. It'd carry, it'd carry, uh, as much weight as you want to put on it. It's just a matter of how comfortable are you, and when you get to a turn, what happens? Do you crash because, uh, um, you can't make the turn. You can't physically move things around to make the turn. Someone asked about this bike. Uh, it's a toy. It's just a toy bike. I picked it up on the side of the road. 
um, I get to get it to my sister's grandchild, my niece's child. So that's supposed to leave. And I think that's about it. I got a storm blowing in. I don't know. Got uh, all kinds of angry weather here. So uh, I got a. I wanted to do some barbecue tonight. Um, well, I'm going to do some barbecue tonight because I got the meat for doing some barbecue. Uh, I don't know. So, some of you folks have Hannafords around you. Some don't. They had. Uh, they call them Southern ribs. Basically, they're uh, they're uh, a cut of. I call them dark meat spare ribs. There's bones in them. Um, but they're they're dark. They're I, I don't think they're the rib or I'm not sure where on the pig they come from. But uh, I picked up some of them. They were uh, they, there was a lot of meat on them. Very little fat. I mean enough fat to make them tender, but not enough fat to like make it so that you're cutting the fat off. There's nothing to eat. Um, but they were a buck thirty nine a pound. So I picked up uh, three three and a half pounds of those. So I'm gonna. I'm going to get to barbecuing those up. I'm looking forward to them. I also got some Italian sausage. I stopped by. Uh, we have a, a town near me, Hopewell Junction. Not too far, 20 minutes or so. And uh, I picked up some of Mario's Italian bread to do up those uh, those sausages on. And also in Hannaford, they had 80% ground meat, but it um, with uh, bacon bits in it and... Um, and cheddar cheese bits so I'm gonna barbecue those up um, yeah I'm uh, I'm gonna be eating all kinds of heart attack you know celebrating the 4th of July Independence Day big big deal here in the United States fireworks and all that all right folks I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing remember to keep your feet down keep your head up and please get out there and enjoy all your days bye now folks